Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my lipstick collection video. Now, I have quite a few lipsticks, but they're from different brands, so that's why I can't do a lipstick collection for one specific brand. But basically, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about the lipsticks and also show you guys swatches on my hands and swatches on my lips. This way you guys know what they look like compared to when you swatch them on your hand and when you swatch them on your actual lips. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. And I figured that I would do this video because... Whenever I'm in CVS or let's say Sephora, I'm always thinking like, hmm, which lipsticks should I get? And it's really good to have an idea in your mind of what other people are buying and what it looks like before you actually go in and test it out yourself. So that's kind of how I get an idea of what lipsticks I want to go towards, what lipsticks I want to even look at. So that is why I am doing this video. So I hope that it helps you guys and let's get right on into it. So I guess I will start out with the lipstick that I am wearing today with this look. I did a tutorial on this look which should be up before this video goes up. So you guys will have already seen what this lipstick is. But I am wearing today Brazen Berry from the Maybelline Vivids collection. In the tube it looks a little bit scary and it just looks like a pure purple color. But I promise you that it is absolutely amazing. If the lighting just changed a little bit I'm sorry but hopefully this is better than the lighting before. Anyway, so this is the color and it is a gorgeous purple color. I will go ahead and swatch it on my hand. This way you guys can see what it looks like. So it is just a beautiful toned purple and it is absolutely gorgeous. I really do love it and on the lips it looks amazing. The next lipstick I have is also from the Maybelline Vivids collection and this is in the color Shocking Coral which is just a really pretty coral color. Again, all of these lipsticks look really bright from this collection, but they're not as scary as they seem. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on for you guys. So that is what it looks like on. It's a very bright color, but it's really fun. And on my hand, it just looks like this. So again, another bright color, and they're just really pretty. And these lipsticks are really moisturizing. The only downside, if you don't like the smell of lipsticks, to be honest, is that they smell a little bit like Play-Doh. So if you don't like the smell of Play-Doh, I don't know how you're going to feel about using these. But you don't smell them when they're on the lips, you only smell them in the tube, so it's not that big of a deal. The last Maybelline lipstick that I have is also from the Vivids Collection. I'm actually quite a big fan of the Vivids Collection. So this one is in the color Vibrant Mandarin, and this is more of an orangey red color. Really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. So this is what the color looks like. Again, it's more of a red-orange toned color, which I really do like still for the summertime and springtime and I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this on my hand now. So it is the bottom color. It's really pretty, really vibrant and I just really love these lipsticks because of the fact that they are so smooth and moisturizing and they even sort of do stain your lips a little bit. If you're not a big fan of that then I wouldn't recommend getting them but after you wear them for a little while they do sort of add a little tint to your lips. It's not like a stain like this but they do still add a little bit of a tint, so it's really nice. So the next line of lipsticks that I have three from are the Kate Moss Rimmel lipsticks, and these are possibly my favorite lipsticks. So I have two of the black ones, which are the shine ones, and then I have one matte. So I will show you the two black packaging ones first. Both of these are reds. They're, one is 09, which is a brighter, more purple toned red, and that's the one that I'm going to be putting on now. So on the skin it just looks like this, which is just pretty true to what it looks like on the lips. And it's just a really nice dark berry tone color, which I do recommend using a lip brush for when you apply it. I just applied it straight from the tube today, but it's a little bit messy. But definitely apply this with a brush because especially when you're using dark lip set colors, dark lip colors, you want to go ahead and have a precise line of where the color is. So... So the next Remo lipstick that I have is the color 01, which is more of a true red. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. So this is the color and how it looks on the lips. It's more of a blue toned red, whereas the 09 was more of a purple toned red. And this just looks like this on the skin. So definitely more of a true red. And this is probably my favorite red lipstick that I have. I have a few different versions of red, but that's definitely like the most true red that I have. So the next color is the color 101, which was from their matte line, and this is also a nude toned color, which is really pretty. It's a pink, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. 
So that is what 101 looks like. It is just a really pretty pink nude toned color. And on the skin, I have to go to my wrist. So it's just a color like that, and it's really, really pretty. It's a pink toned color, but it's matte, and it's really just a really nice formula. So all of these lipsticks have a really nice formula. They're really moisturizing, and they're also highly pigmented. And these even do stain your lips a little bit. The nude one, not really. But the two dark colors, as you would expect in a highly pigmented lipstick, they definitely do stain your lips to a little bit of a natural stain that's not very, very intense like the lipstick is when you first apply it, but it is just a nice sort of stain that looks like you were eating some berries or something like that. So I have three more lipsticks, but they are from three different companies. So the first one is from Estee Lauder, and it is in the color Candy. And it just looks like this. It's more of a darker sort of shimmery pink and just on the lips I will apply it. So it's more of a shimmery pinky tones color when I swatch it on my wrist. You can see that it does have a little bit of a sheen to it unlike the matte that's on top of it and it's just a really pretty color that's kind of more of a medium toned between fun and nude and I just really like it because it does add that little bit of a glossy sheen to your lips. So it's just a really nice color and really moisturizing as well. The next one is from NYX and this is in the color 628 and this is in Tea Rose. So it is just a nice, really, really nice actually mauve toned color and I picked this up yesterday so it's brand new to me but it's a really nice color. So that is what the color looks like on the lips on my wrist. It just looks like this. So it's sort of a darker toned color compared to the Rimmel lipstick that I applied earlier that's nude. Which I really like because sometimes I do want a little bit of a darker toned color compared to the Rimmel lipstick that I have. But this is just a really good lipstick and it's really moisturizing as well. It's very hydrating and that's what I definitely love in a lipstick because if it's not then it kind of causes your lipsticks to your lips to become dry and just crack and it's not fun. So the last lipstick that I have is my only MAC lipstick and this is in the color Angel. It's just such a staple new toned color and I will apply it. Again, it's just an absolutely gorgeous new toned color and on my wrist it just looks like that. So it's not as dark as the other nudes that I have. It's just really light and natural. And I'm really happy that I decided to get this. This is a sheen, I believe. Oh, this is a frost. And it's just a really pretty color that is very moisturizing. And it actually smells so good. It smells like vanilla. So definitely recommend checking all of these lipsticks out because they're just such good products. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.